morning everyone. I'm Aurora and Cruz and I'm going to demonstrate to you on how to administer oxygenation. Here are the parts of the oxygen pack. Okay, so this is the control panel. This is the, the one that you open and then uh, the, the one that controls the open and then the close. How you, uh, so once it is closed, you cannot regulate it there. And then this is the gauge. The gauge will tell you the amount of oxygen within the tank. And then this is the airflow meter. So uh, it tells you the PSI, the pressure of the oxygen that comes out from the tube. And then this is the regulator. And then this is the humidifier. So that the air that enters your nose is already humid so that it, there might not an irritation on your throat. And then, of course, there should be a water in it. And then this is the tank. So those are the parts of the oxygen tank. Okay, so open the control panel. And then uh, definitely the gauge will rise, okay? So to the amount of oxygen that are still available within the tank. And then before you start administer oxygenation, okay, make sure that the water of the humidifier is not just, is enough, okay? So if the water in the humidifier is uh, is more than the level, so remove the excess water. And if it is not, it's not filled. Okay, you just fill it more so that it would be on the exact level. Okay, so hindi siya dapat sobra hindi rin siya kula. So kailangan and ito siya in between this level of water. Okay, and then. Uh, the first thing that you would do, of course, wash your hands. Of course, I have already washed my hands. And then wear your gloves. Okay, and then wear your gloves. Okay, get your nasal cannula. Proceed to the patient's uh, room. Open the nasal cannula. So the nasal cannula, definitely, it is, um, this is sterile. Okay, so the first thing that you will do, of course, open the control panel. So, and then once it is open, definitely the the gauge will rise up. Okay, so it means merong laman ang um, may laman ang pant natin. Okay, and then connect the tubing to the connector. So this is the connector. This is the tubing. The end part of the cannula. And then, so um, and then uh, after connecting, okay, so um, regulate the regulator to depending on the doctor's order. Usually, it is three liters per minute. So the bullet, you have to raise it to, uh, raise it to three liters per minute. Ayo din. Ayun. Okay, so sira. Wala siyang... So, yung bullet, you may see it nandun siya sa number 3. So, if it is 3, 2.5, 2 or 1. So, depending sa order ng doctor. And then, fill the cannula. You may fill it on your hand. And, of course, you may also fill it on your face. Okay, so if there are some uh, uh, malamig na lumalabas. Actually, it is not an air. It's just a cooling uh, sensation. Malamig lang siya. It means that is the oxygen patient. Okay. So, make sure it is comfortably inserted inside both of the nurses of the patients. And then, connect it on both ears. Na? On the external, external ear. And then, adjust to patient's comfort. Then, that's it. Okay, so the patient now is having her oxygen. Okay, so that is how are you going to administer oxygenation to your patient. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you now on how to uh, remove the oxygen uh, cannula after administration. Okay, so the first thing that you will do is, of course, uh, knock on the door. Three times for patients for to see. Open the door. Bit again the patients. Okay, good afternoon, Miss Anne. I am Aurora and Cruz, your caregiver for today. And it is time to remove your uh, cannula as per doctor's order, your oxygen administration. Okay.
Okay? So, um, the first thing that you will do is to check the gauge. Okay? So that, the, so that you may have a baseline uh, of the amount of oxygen that the patient had been used. Okay? So, I have read there, uh, kunwari, 200 PSI na lang ang laman niya. Kunwari lang kasi di siya gumagana. 200 PSI. Then, the first thing that you would do is to close the control panel. Okay? So, con close the control panel. Once the control panel is closed, definitely the, the, the bullet will go down. Once the bullet goes down, it means there is not, there's no air in it. Then that is the time you will close the regulator. Okay, so once the the regulator is closed, that is the time you may remove the uh, cannula. Okay, so loosen the nasal cannula. Okay, make sure that nothing will touch this portion of the cannula because this is contaminated after using. And then, of course, Roll it. Then remove it from the connector. And then dispose it. Do the double bagging. And then throw it to, throw this into the, uh, yellow contaminated trust okay so that's it that's all for today thank you